and managed to come back and win against like a massive, it wasn't like yeah. five bigs to 20 bigs. Was it was five. really disproportionate, deep. super deep. I think he won like 14 all ends in a row or something. Something absurd. I mean, it was, we stopped counting how many SDs away from the norm that yeah. the, yeah. that sort of run was. As we see a limp pot. All spades, Hendrix Where flopping Hendrix it. has flopped to the flush. Maybe might be able to get one street of value versus silver. Albeit, it's got to be a pretty small bet. Even then, the the deuce three. It's not great. Out of position. Can't improve. It's got to be a small bet like this one. One big blind. You can sacrifice one big blind. He's got more chips. Oh, you can be asked for more than one big blind. And you know what? I almost prefer this line from silver to a flat. I'm sure that sounds foolish, but where do you want to go? You want to flat and then face another barrel and fold unless you hit the deuce or the three? And even then, if you hit the three of spades, where you, you know what I mean? Obviously, we know that yeah. card's busy, but it's just kind of a, a no man's land sort of proposition. And obviously, Hendrix all too happy to see silver S salivating, putting more out there, though the pair on the board is an unwelcome arrival. Not a terrible card for silver, to be honest. You might actually continue betting here, thinking it's less likely Adam's going to have a jack. And there is another bet. Adam just, just let him keep firing. Yeah, but now, obviously, if there's some, some jack eight out there, Hendrix is going to want to be mindful of it. Definitely being a little more cautious, of course, with the paired board. But still... Definitely calling, feeling good about it. Could be some deuce deuce out there as well. Silver loves his deuces. Will it come in here? The king of spades. Yeah, now Ford will flush on board as Silver has bloated oh. this thing oh. to 2.55 million and he's going to jam. Oh, and what a, an uncomfortable spot this is suddenly. Wow. As played, we tend to want to remove the ace of spades from Silver's range. Whether it was suited, which we block if we're Hendrix, or whether it was standalone, which would likely want to deposit more chips pre-flop. So what is he representing? We block the spades. The check raise on the flop could be an equity denial proposition, not looking to allow a force spade to come off with a hand like a set of deuces or jacks up from time to time out of silver. Here's the issue with Adam and, think, and what he's thinking about is that he only beats a bluff. He loses, like... You know, yeah. There's, there's really nothing else. He has the queen of queen of spades. Is the, the ten of spades playing like this? Is the nine of Two, spades four, playing like this? It's a paired board, and you know, you think those hands would be a little bit more conservative. And here we are. You beat a stone cold bluff, as bl as disgusting as it is. There's a chance Are that uh, he did you stop it for the count, or when you counted earlier? Oh, my God. Oh, he and he folds. puts it into the muck. What a remarkable run out that was for Silver. The pair on the turn, the fourth spade, and he manages to get it through. Savage, savage bluff by Silver. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. I think that's what Adam was thinking. Is Nate, is Nate the kind of player to put his tournament life at risk all in?